Oh, good morning. It's a beautiful day, huh? There's your hero. Huh. I never thought he'd really do that. You gotta see it as it is. It's funny you should say that, because I was looking through some old photos and it looks very, uh, similar. Okay. <laughs> Well, I gotta get back to work. Breaking news, everybody! A video game that's currently in development is still in the process of being made. Who would've thunk? But regardless, welcome back, true believers and all you spectacular Spidey fans, to another very interesting Marvel Spider-Man 2 related video. And yes, believe it or not, everybody, but despite the overwhelmingly positive amount of reception that the Marvel Spider-Man 2 gameplay demo has received ever since the PlayStation Showcase, and the fact that the game has been pretty much trending on social media ever since its reveal, there is a rather loud minority of people out there who have clearly expressed their overall criticisms and concerns based on everything they saw within the Marvel Spider-Man 2 gameplay demo. And while there are indeed certain concerns that people have brought up which are completely justifiable, quite a good amount of the quote-unquote issues that certain people have based on the footage that we saw are pretty much utterly baseless claims that have come out of nowhere. The main offenders being is that some people have claimed that the overall graphic style of Marvel Spider-Man 2 in the gameplay demo is a complete downgrade based on what we saw in the initial reveal trailer, and that the game itself doesn't look like it's fully delivering on the promise of a full-on PS5 exclusive. Well, not only am I here to tell you that that's complete and utter nonsense, but there's even been statements from Insomniac Games themselves pretty much debunking all those potential issues that certain people may have. Where coming from various users on Twitter, they went on to express their concerns towards the community director at Insomniac Games himself of James Stevenson. Where to be begin with what Twitter user M. Lofty asked, he stated, did the graphics get a downgrade from the reveal trailer? And James Stevenson simply said no. And to follow up, another Twitter user of Treshawn Porsche asked James, question, is the latest Spider-Man 2 gameplay footage the final build of the game? And again, James Stevenson simply replied with a gif this time, saying no. And yeah, for anyone who's been a fan of video games as long as I have, you would know full well that any time a gameplay demo is shown for any upcoming video game that hasn't fully released yet, chances are that the footage that we see is almost always a build of the game that is still currently in the process of being fully developed. And we won't end up seeing the completely final build of Marvel Spider-Man 2 until we actually have the game in our hands for ourselves and play it on our own PS5s later this fall. So for anyone out there who still feels like that the gameplay demo didn't live up to your expectations, we still have yet to see the final version of Marvel Spider-Man 2 in action. But even taking all that into consideration, I still fully believe that the gameplay demo that we saw went above and beyond in terms of showcasing a preview of what Marvel Spider-Man 2 can truly do when fully running on PS5 hardware. This ranges from extremely improved visual fidelity within Marvel's New York and all the game's character models, as well as more enhanced and dynamic lighting features, and most importantly is Insomniac completely prioritizing a much faster and more vivid feeling traversal system. Because in my opinion, Insomniac clearly knew exactly what assets they wanted to showcase primarily within the entirety of this gameplay demo. And and coming from me personally, I think they handled it incredibly well. But on the flip side, just because Insomniac is still currently developing Marvel Spider-Man 2, and knowing that the gameplay demo that we saw was an earlier build of the game, that doesn't mean that there isn't room for improvement. And based on everything I've seen from the community and taking my own personal criticisms into consideration, the biggest three aspects of the gameplay demo that people have issues with are indeed the black suit, the game's UI, and the game's foundational web-swinging animations. Now, to begin with the black suit, this is more of a subjective opinion considering that there are some people who aren't a fan of how its design looks. And for me, this is easily the least problematic thing about the gameplay demo. While this interpretation of the costume may not be my personal favorite version of the suit, considering that my number one spot still goes to the reigning champion of... I guess that's my cue. Word. 
But regardless, I still think that this is an incredibly damn good design. The symbiote is an organic life form in nature, and seeing Insomniac incorporate that within the entirety of this suit's design, I really love how it's embodying a hybrid of the much more smoother and almost fabric-like design from the black suit that we know from certain comic books, as well as adding much more rougher type textures in certain areas of the costume, which definitely provides Black Suit Spider-Man with a far more unsettling and extremely menacing aesthetic. And I for one am all for that, and I especially love within all parts of the suit that we do see the symbiote actually moving on Peter's body, giving it a far more alien design in comparison to any of Spidey's other suits. And speaking of suits, if you're someone who's not a fan of this particular symbiote Spider-Man costume, then you should obviously come to expect at this point that we are undoubtedly going to receive a multitude of alternate Spider-Man suits that we can wear within this game. And I have no doubt that's going to relate to Black Suit Spider-Man. Now moving on to the second big criticism for the gameplay demo, which I myself even have issues with, is the primary UI design that we see for this game. Now the main elements that I actually do like within the UI is the health bar, the web shooter meter, and of course the mini-map, which have already been core features in the previous Insomniac Spidey games UI systems. But the main thing I actually do have an issue with is the game's addition of the power wheels. Because while they're keeping track of the abilities that we can use as the player either as Peter or Miles, it ends up making the game's HUD feel a bit too busy. And if anything, I could see Insomniac using this UI as the game's final design, which we as the player will be able to customize, or just like what we saw in the past with the initial Spider-Man PS4 gameplay demo all the way back in 2017, the main HUD that we saw in that gameplay demo was completely different compared to the game's final product, which certainly has a chance of happening again by the time we see more footage of Marvel Spider-Man 2 in the future. And the last major criticism that people have with the Marvel Spider-Man 2 gameplay demo, which I understand being a pretty big concern for massive Spider-Man gaming fans, is seeing repeated animations be featured in both Peter and Miles' web swinging. Considering that this is the massive next-gen sequel of the Marvel Spider-Man franchise, and taking some of the bits of news that we have heard from certain gaming industry insiders, we were expecting to be completely blown away by this game's web swinging. However, while we can clearly see Insomniac reusing assets, the counter argument that I would offer for that is that the web swinging wasn't the main feature that they were trying to highlight within this gameplay demo, and instead, they were mainly focusing on the brand new slingshot mechanic as well as the web wings, which are easily two of the biggest new additions to the game's main traversal system. And on the other hand, Insomniac only used the web swinging during the gameplay demo set piece to try and get from point A to point B, in order to show off all the chaos that was happening on screen while Peter and Miles were chasing after Kraven and his henchmen. Plus, we didn't even get to see any of the main web swinging tricks within this gameplay demo. And no, that's not because I think that they don't have any in Marvel Spider-Man 2, but simply because they didn't activate any of them during the game's big chase sequence. While it is undeniable that Insomniac have been copying and pasting certain animations from the previous Spider-Man games now into Marvel Spider-Man 2, I have no doubt in my mind that there are going to be a ton of brand new web swinging animations that we just haven't seen yet. And by the time that we do see them, I think we're going to be completely blown away. In the end, everybody, constructive criticism and genuine feedback are always a good thing for video game developers to hear. Because when they hear things like that, it allows them to make their game an even better experience. But when people start going after the developers just to be negative, or state a criticism with no actual backing to it whatsoever, then that is where that mentality starts to become an extremely negative environment. Because while we obviously all want Marvel Spider-Man 2 to be Game of the Year worthy material, we just have to wait until Insomniac is fully finished cooking their upcoming 5 star dish. And until that order is served, that's the video I have for all you today, and please let me know all your thoughts in the comments section down below. What are your personal criticisms that you have with the Marvel Spider-Man 2 gameplay demo? Did it involve the black suit, the UI, the web swinging, or potentially anything else? Let me know what you think, be sure to leave a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy, and for more Marvel Spider-Man 2 videos like this in the future. We're less than 1,000 subscribers away from reaching 100,000 subscribers on the channel, everybody, so you'll definitely want to make sure that you stay tuned for any and all upcoming Marvel Spider-Man 2 updates. But until next time, true believers, thank you all so much for watching, stay spectacular, Spidey fans, and peace out.